Hello YouTube, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of physics. Scientists at UC Berkeley have been experimenting with medical applications for plasma with promising results. A small spark can turn air into ionized plasma. The resulting reactive compounds will then diffuse into nearby liquids. This has the effect of sterilizing the liquid, as the plasma produces well-known antimicrobial chemicals such as certain nitrates. In an experiment, not only did a little plasma destroy virtually all bacteria in the water, but made that water sterilized for about a week. Plasma has several advantages over other disinfectants, like its ability to kill even drug-resistant bacteria. Because small plasma producing devices can be cheap to make, they'd have a wide range of applications, from effective sterilization in hospitals, especially for developing countries, to quick water disinfection in remote areas and military scenarios. Our next story is from the field of genetics, where researchers in Switzerland made some interesting discoveries involving a particular gene in mice. A targeted virus knocked out the gene in muscle cells of mice, therefore removing the protein it codes for. Without this protein, the muscle's mitochondria seem to work at maximum almost all the time, allowing the modified mice to run twice as fast per hour on average. A separate experiment knocked out the same gene in fat cells of mice, resulting in a very different outcome. Yes. When targeting this gene in fat cells, it simply made the mice fatter, which surprisingly isn't a bad thing. You see, despite the increased obesity, the mice curiously didn't develop type 2 diabetes. The hope is that better understanding of this gene's role could lead to treatments for muscular wasting diseases and diabetes. And from the world of medicine, Recent studies from around the world have demonstrated effectiveness of experimental treatments for recovering from a heart attack. The treatment in question involves injecting stem cells into the heart to help repair damage after a heart attack. Bone marrow derived stem cells were used in two of the main studies presented. One such study showed a reduction in deaths and further heart issues if marrow stem cells were injected a few days after an attack. In the second, similar study, the stem cells were injected 10 to 20 days after the heart attack, showing no improvement in health. Other promising results were from a phase 1 trial that used patients' own cardiac stem cells, but much more research is needed. Our final story is a quick update from the world of astronomy. Scientists from the University of Texas at Austin seem to have discovered large bodies of water relatively close to the surface of Europa. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, has long been thought to have a vast liquid ocean deep under its icy exterior. However, in the search for extraterrestrial life, such deep waters are quite inhospitable. Not so with these near-surface lakes. This discovery is based on observations by the Galileo spacecraft, using a lot of information from glacier and ice sheet monitoring on Earth. Even more promising for life on Europa is the mixing of surface and deeper water thought to occur, allowing for potential exchange of energy. Of course, these observations cannot be 100% confirmed until a mission to land a probe on Europa's surface occurs which NASA has made a priority. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brainstorm. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.